All right, let's talk network stack here. Um, we've, I don't know, come full circle is the right term, but um, we've definitely expanded the network far beyond my original expectations. And um, this is just kind of going to be an overview of what we've got and what it's all doing. So at the top of the rack here, we have the Netgear MS510 TXM. This was the thing that kind of got this whole project started, and it is a um, 10 gig and 2.5 gig switch. So the six ports on this side um, being the two SFPs here, and then the four RJ45s here are 10 gig capable um, ports. And then these four are 2.5 gig capable ports. Um, this switch was kind of the springboard that I took off with to start this whole process. And it still serves a very valid function here and is pulling a lot of weight with um, these connections here. But it is the springboard that goes down to, so we have this connection here that comes down to the Microtech 100 gig switch, and that provides the data link in between the broader network and the Microtech backbone. So, what does this switch do? So, this switch provides 10 gig interlinks in between the um, TP-Link Wi-Fi system. So the Wi-Fi system runs off of this um, connection. And what that does is provide a 10 gig backhaul for all data that's being transmitted over the wireless system. Then in addition to that, we also have the workstation running off of this. And then finally, the um, serving up the secondary Wi-Fi system, the Plume Wi-Fi system as well. So it's running two different wireless networks and the workstation. So that it's still pulling quite a bit of data through there and is running along quite nicely. Then we'll come down to the next logical point, and that is going to be this Microtech. This is the CRS5044XQIM. Um, and this guy is the Microtech 100 gig switch. And so this guy has, we'll come underneath here, this, this guy has four 100 gig ports. You can see these two here are running at 100 gigs, and then these two are not. So why are those two not? So this here is a direct attach copper cable, and this takes the QSFP plus port, and breaks it out into four SFP ports. So these SFP ports can support 10 gigs of data. You can see here I've got an additional three coming off of that, so that makes 40 gigs of data. This port is being split down to 40 gigs of data. Then I have this one here, which is the link in between this and the other Microtech switch. Um, and this is another direct attach cable. This is a straight 40 gig connection. So this is running a 40 gig link up and down to this Microtech switch. So the upper Microtech switch, and we'll come over here, see if we can focus in on that maybe.
All right, and so this is the CRS 354 48G 4S2Q Plus. And so what that really long model number means is that we have 48 one gig ports. So these uh, RJ45s are all one gig ports. And we have 48 of those. Then over here we have four SFP ports. These guys are, and I guess I should say SFP plus ports. And then um, those SFP pluses run 10 gig links. And then you've got the QSFP plus ports at the end here, and those are 40 gig ports. Then you have a console and a management port, and same for the uh, 100 gig switch as well, console and management ports. So what does that mean? Um, what that means is that we have the ability to run 48 uh, one gig links pretty much saturated and still feed it off of this Microtech um, link that I've got down here. So this link would provide 40 gigs of throughput. Again, not accounting for overhead and a bunch of other things like that, but I could slam a lot of data through here and it would still chug along quite nicely. Um, and so that leads to this patch panel here and this patch panel is running all of those ports there. And so you'll see I'm not really using all of this 48 port switch right now, but um, we do have quite a bit of room for expansion as we move forward. Um, I still have one dark fiber connection and then a bunch of dark um, RJ45 connections. And so, yeah, that's how the network stack currently runs. Um, and just as a refresher here, this guy is the file server. So this serves up um, 256 terabytes of uh, addressable storage space. Um, less than that after RAID overheads and all that good stuff. And then down here is our render server with the new HPE uh, faceplate on there. I think that looks really nice. Um, but yeah, this guy is what crunches out the videos. Kind of a dragon eating its own tail thing. I'm making videos about the hardware to make the videos. So yeah, uh, it's just kind of one of those fun, fun loops that I'm working on. But yeah, this is the server as it stands and the network as it is functional.